Can you guys believe it's already been over two years since EA first announced they were building a new skate game called Skate, which the community is calling Skate 4? Well, today they finally released an in-depth gameplay footage reveal, which reveals a ton about the physics, the mechanics, and the brand new skate city that they're building. The developers also released a full 20-minute video that I'll summarize for you guys, where they go more in-depth into the gameplay and even reveal some secrets that haven't been released yet. So let's get right into it, guys. I hate when people talk over trailers, so I'm going to show you guys the full in-depth gameplay reveal, and then afterwards we'll talk about it and reveal some of those secrets that they were talking about in the new boardroom episode. But all right, let's enjoy this new skate footage. Wow, there is a lot to unpack there. There are some crazy new spots. It looks like there's some crazy new mechanics. But I think the craziest thing they showed is some of these huge spots that they've built. Like these spots look separate from the city. They kind of look like custom parks. And it looks like everybody is skating them all together at the same time. I believe they call these collabo zones, zones where people can come together and build just about anything they want. And wow, some of these shots are just crazy at the things people are already building in the playtest. And even though all of these things are a lot of fun, I think we can all agree that we still want a really good skatable city. And I feel like we saw some really cool realistic skate spots. But all right, guys, let's get into some of the juicy stuff because the developers actually released a ton of new information about the gameplay, the physics, and this new world that we're seeing. Right, yeah, we're starting with like the core of the old skate games, right? We have the Flick It system and we're evolving everything kind of from there. There's been a lot of talk about dual stick controls with games like Skater, Excel, and Session coming out, but it's good to know that that Flick It system will be returning to skate. We are adding in things like uh, grind leans and grind transitions, so you can actually go from one grind to another without actually having to leave the rail building out a proper lip trick system, improving the system for power slides and reverts. It's good to know that they're actually putting a lot of work into these physics, like the grind mechanics he's talking about, because I understand that you can see these giant, crazy structures and think that the game is going a totally different direction. But from playing the playtest myself, I can honestly say that it does feel really good and they are focusing a lot on these base physics and mechanics, not just all the crazy stuff. And also things like flip tricks uh, and actually being able to control the speed at which you do and perform your flip tricks. You're now able to control the speed at which you do your flip tricks. So in skate one, two, and three, if you do a kickflip, you just do a regular kickflip. But now they're saying you can actually control how fast that kickflip spins, which means you can either do a really slow, big kickflip or really fast kickflips and try to get like triple flips and quad flips. I think that's really cool. That's one of my favorite parts about the new skate sim games is that you can really control how fast that board is spinning. Now, as I said, I noticed a lot of off board activity. Like there's people diving across the building. I'm also pretty sure there was a guy that did like front flips off his board and then landed back on the board, the team does have something to say about that. Nuggets of information, I think one thing a lot of players may have noticed already is that we're also starting to evolve our off-board gameplay. Um, so while we're growing what we can do on the board, we're also growing what you can do off of it. So you can jump off of your board and swing onto a bar, fly off, and then land back on your board again, for example. All these things can be combined together just to create more possibilities and more opportunities for fun. Hippie jump off the board, swing on a bar and land back on your board, all using the off board mechanics. That is gonna create some crazy possibilities for skate tricks. 
They talk about how they're really building in verticality, like how you can climb up buildings. And that's helped us design a world with a lot more verticality in mind. We love the idea of finding that perfect rooftop skate spot and inviting your friends to, to rip on it. And that should feel rewarding and unique. So we don't have to glitch up there. You don't have to glitch up there. <laughs> okay, because that's you still gotta figure out. You gotta glitch. <laughs> no more glitches, guys. We can get on top of buildings without using the launch glitch. Look at this giant rail that they show in this video. Like, this is crazy. This is clearly something that the community built together in the playtest. Giant smiley face in the sky. Oh, that looks crazy. I mean, this opens up so many possibilities for giant skate challenges. Giving people creativity to build anything in a giant zone, I think, is going to be really fun. Or a giant mess, but I guess time will tell. I mean, some of these shots of what people have built in the city are just so crazy already, but I already talked about that. So that's interesting. They actually want the players to actively be building in the city and kind of making the city. These collaborative zones are something we definitely have to keep an eye on because these could be a giant game changer. Well, all right, guys, that is most of the new and exciting stuff that they talked about in this new video. But all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. There's some links down in the description if you want to get more information or you want to watch the entire boardroom video in its entirety. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.